Hi, my name is Brittany, and I may be a shopaholic. Okay, so I've been working on my home office and have been very inspired by the 70s and 80s, very madman, very retro chic, and I decided to check out some of my local thrift stores to see what I can find. Um, I already have a lot of my big pieces um, for my office, and I just needed a few little knickknacks and small things to kind of pull the vibe together and just complete it. So today I am going to be sharing with you some things I found from my office and some things I just found that I have no place for. But hopefully I can be inspired and find either somewhere to put it or someone that I can gift it to or something that I can use in a later project. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with um, a lot of the glassware. I found a lot, a lot of beautiful glassware there. I have this concept in mind. I have two bookshelves and also like a, um, a console table in the office that I wanna set up a bar at. I don't drink much, but I just thought it'd be cute. It just reminded me so much of uh, Mad Men or when you go into like the executive offices and they have their little bar card and nice glassware and decanters and uh, I just love all that stuff. So these are a few things that I found um, for that. Let's get started with oh, these cute little, like the champagne glasses. Do you guys remember like in the movies when they had the parties and they would kind of stack these on top of each other? And then it'll have like the champagne fountain kind of filling them all up. Oh, I just think that's so cute. So I found these. It has some beautiful etching, like a floral etching in it. And I just thought these would look so cute to sit on a bookshelf. I found them in a set of six. And I think I'm going to put these on like a little tray with some beautiful rosé champagne bottles. So that's that. These next ones I found, I um, I love them for like just when my guests come over, my girls or my company come over, just to use as little water glasses. I'm going to place these on the shelves as well. This kind of really matches um, the color scheme. These also came in a set of six, but I just love the, um, the design on it. I thought it was very... A little retro a little modern and it kind of fits my theme next are these I have a few friends that I will take a few shots with I don't think these are necessarily shot glasses however I just thought they were so beautiful just a cute little decor piece just to stand alone or you know have a shot with it then i found this little set well it wasn't a set they were just kind of lounged around individually but they were so cute they are just little candle holders just the little votive candle holders and they're actually very very heavy but they're super cute i found this little heart shaped one this little ball shaped one, so cute. I love the detail on it. And this one as well. And I think these maybe were like three or four bucks. They weren't expensive at all, but very good quality, very heavy. So I have some little pink little candles I'm gonna place in here and probably kind of put along the on top of the desk or something like that we'll see how that goes i do have a few items that i'm anticipating doing a little diying on i may or may not because i'm not the best diyer <laughs> but i do try my hand at doing a few little things um sometimes i like it sometimes it comes out well sometimes it don't but Nonetheless, I still try. 
so I found this little storage box really really cute I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99 or something like that but it has some excellent detailing on it I kind of the color kind of goes with what I'm doing with my theme but I'm also possibly going to paint it I don't know if I just kind of want it white I think just all white would look really 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 cute kind of keep it a little metro retro but still a little modern that is kind of my vibe I do like retro but i kind of like it modernized i don't want it to look like you're traveling back in time but i just want a little hint of the 80s a little hint of the 90s a little hint of the 70s the next thing i found is so next i found this little knick-knack is what I'll call it. I really believe it's a cigarette holder. <laughs> no one in my home smokes. However, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Maybe just to put on top of some books or something like that. Just as a little decorative accent. Maybe you can burn incense on it. I don't know if that's your thing. You could do that. I also found this beautiful, beautiful vase. When I am looking for is it vase or vase? I don't know. I feel silly saying vase, but I like saying vase. But I think vase is the right word. However, I found this one. It was really, really cute. I love the detail on it. I kind of like the shape of it. Um, I think I want to use this for fresh flowers on the desk. Um, but I just thought the shape was really, really, had a really, really unique um, shape and design to it. So I think this probably was maybe about five or six bucks as well. I got this little um, thingy majiggy. I really don't know. Maybe it's just, I don't know what, I really don't know what, maybe it is for short flowers. I don't know. But I got this to use as a pen and pencil holder on top of the desk. It's very, very heavy. It's really, really cute. And I like this kind of, um, detail on glass because when the sun hits it just kind of reflects and bounces and it just looks so so pretty this is one of my favorite favorite pieces oh my goodness i was so stoked when i found this because this really just encompassed my whole vibe for the office and it is this vase here isn't it so retro? I can kind of imagine maybe, um, I'm going to fill this maybe with some kind of pompous grass or something. I don't know. But I'm also thinking about getting a, um, one of those curtain holders that has, that has like the little tassels on them and maybe putting on there as well. And then kind of have like some little free flowing grass coming out of that but I thought this was super super cute and it just really encompassed my whole vibe for the office and this was $14.51 to me a little steep for the thrift store however I kind of needed it so I got it now this right here Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I just thought of my grandmother, Mrs. Earlene. I remember kind of going to her house and she used to always have like some just beautiful um, entertaining dishes and things like that. My grandmother loves to entertain. I think I may have gotten that from her. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yes, that's, that's it. That's a vibe. So I think I'm going to put this on the bookshelf as well. Maybe fill it with uh, what they used to call penny candy back in the day. Just like some old, you know, those peppermints your grandmother used to give you. So if you come over, I have a bowl of peppermints for you. Now this, don't judge, okay? Color is a bit off-putting, but it is a Kleenex holder. But I just love the lines on it. And it's plastic. It's not like 
the greatest. However, I'm thinking about painting it, um, spray painting it in a little color, probably white, which is my favorite color right now. And um, putting this on the desk or somewhere, it just was very retro. And I thought the shape and the lines and stuff like that kind of really mimic the theme that I'm going for. So I don't know. This is a maybe, not sure if I'm definitely going to use this in the office, but we'll see. Now this, I would love to use in the office, but I really don't know where I'm going to put it. But I just figure I could use it on a coffee table. You can use it to put remotes and things in, or I don't know, you can do the green moss, just a lot of different things with this, but it's really heavy, good shape, good size. And I love it. Okay, so next up for the bar cart, I found this little decanter. It's not the nicest one you can find. Typically, they kind of come with like the little glass part. This is plastic, so it's not the best, but I like the round, the globe shape of it, and I like the... Um, detail on it so I picked it up and I'm gonna put whatever sort of liquor goes in here I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm gonna put this this on the shelf on the bookshelf along with these glasses I just thought these were super cute the shape was very very unique I just imagine maybe getting those little um, molds those ice molds in the ball and just putting a little ball in there and pouring some liquor on top I just think that would be so so cute just to kind of sit on the shelf as decor with that decanter I kind of have a vision in mind I think I'm going to put like maybe a wood tray down and kind of set these on top of there I kind of think that's what we're doing then I also for the bar found these cute little coffee mugs the godiva chocolate mugs the color is not really picking up well on the camera but it kind of has like a kind of like a really soft peachy pink color which is the tone in my office so i found two of these and i think i'm just gonna kind of put those like such next to the keurig in the office with some little chocolates in there so when you come over you can make you a glass of hot chocolate isn't that cute i just i love those so next up i got this little what is this it's just a cute thingy majiggy and it has a top and you can put stuff in there and you can close it. I think I'm gonna put paper clips in there even though I'm never really paper clipping anything. <laughs> Everything I probably said is electronic, but nonetheless, I just think it's a cute little accent. You know, sometimes you need things you don't need. Then I found this little, this is so random but I found this little bell and it has a conch on there. And a conch is so good. I got this one because of the texture two because of the color, but also um, a few years back, I visited Turks and Caicos and I had one of these. I went, what do they call that? Scuba diving. And the, um, the person the tour the tour guide he swam to the bottom and got one and made us fresh ceviche on the boat and it was just absolutely good 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 so good so when i saw this i was like oh reminds me of my vacation my kids are gonna hate it because i'm gonna be ringing them when i need it need them but it kind of tells you a little bit what the conch is i just thought this was just a really really cute kind of reminiscent of vacation then I found these really cute, cute, cute candlesticks. And it's rare that you kind of find them in like 
wood wooden so i just thought these were really really unique i normally find like glass ones and things like that but i thought these were super super cute and they were like a dollar or two dollars a piece so love 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 those now going back to my bar thing I found this really cute ice cup, ice chest holder. And I just thought this was super, super cute. So it came with a little top. So when my guests come over, I'm gonna fill it with ice. And we're gonna set it on the bar and we're just gonna act like we're on some executive type stuff, but how cute. Okay, so these are a few more items for the bookshelf as well. You always need picture frames for your bookshelf. And I found this one. I love the rounded corners on this. And I like that it kind of had that aged look to it. And I just think this will be really, really cute for some photos. As well as this one. How cute is that? And I just thought this would be really, really cute on the um, bookshelves as well. Has a lot of little detail on it. It's nice and heavy. This is a really, really good one. But my favorite favorite picture frame find is this one i just love 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 this this is such the vibe now what exactly this is i'm not certain but the shape is really really cute and i just think like a really cute family picture would just be so nice in this now, no bookshelf is complete without books. Now, I found two, but I do need a few more to kind of really make it come alive. But I found this one. I like the color of it. Kind of has that vintage color to it. And it is actually a cookbook. And I like the print on the inside. It's just, it's just a wonderful one. It's just beautiful. And it's like the Junior League of San Antonio. Now, I really don't know what that means, but I think I am going to try some of the recipes in here, but I just think this will be really cute. Just either open or close, but this is kind of, this is going to go on the bookshelf as well. And then I found this one here. The color was just fantastic. The shape, the font. I loved it. It kind of has like a metallic font on there. And I love to open up books because while I do like them, I do like to use them for display. I still like them to be something that you would actually look at, not just for visual effects. But it had a lot of beautiful artwork in there and photography. And I just think this will be really cute um, to display and also to read. That's that. Now, I have one more item from this thrift haul that is actually for the office. And the rest of it is just random and it is this little round base here who remember these who remembers these you remember they had the little foam in there and then they would put um some kind of foliage coming out of it i just i just love this now i'm not gonna do that with this i really don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i'll kind of keep my I open for how I'm gonna actually display this in the office. But I thought this was super, super cute. 
kind of has a little bit of that stuff in there, but I'm going to try to get that out of there. All right, so that is all the items that I have that are actually for the office. The rest of this is just something for me to do something with. And the first being this little thingy me jiggy. Okay. It's really, really cute. I do like the print on it. It kind of has that really vintage retro thing going on with it. However, I don't know if I am going to keep it like this. I have an idea in mind. I'm thinking about maybe spray painting it all white and doing like that forever flower DIY on this. But stay tuned for that. We'll kind of see where that goes. So I was super stoked when I found this. This is actually for my baby girl. And it is this vintage caboodles box. Whomever had it took really, really good care of the inside of it. Because it looks really good on the inside. How do you open this thing? Oh, there you go. It's super, super cute. And she loves jewelry and all things girl. So this would be really cute for her. And I was super stoked. It was only four bucks. And I love it. Now the next thing is, oh, you know what? Let me stay on target with our retro theme first before we move forward. And the last kind of retro piece I got was this food tray. I love the color of it. I love the little part where you can put your cup, some orange juice, just a, such a little breakfast in bed. The sad thing is I only found one. I really would have wished I could find six, <laughs> but I just got this one, but it was super, super cute. And maybe I'll make someone breakfast in bed and serve them like an old school king. How cute is this? So moving on now, I love restoration hardware if you watch a lot of youtube videos i know you see all of the restoration hardware dupes and thrifted finds that you turn it into looking just like something you can get from restoration hardware so i'm gonna try my hand at that now my overall feel for my home is not necessarily that kind of modern however i do feel that with design you can incorporate different um styles into whatever so i found these two pieces of pottery that were just ugh, gorgeous 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 now they don't have much of an appeal right now okay so bear in mind that you do need to do a little work on it some people will like them just like that i think they're beautiful just the way they are if it um, matches the theme of your home they don't match the theme of my home but i am going to do something to them to make them and the first being this heavy little piece here which is this and it is beautiful and it's super super heavy and if you can see how it is on the top it's just super beautiful and i like that it's already textured i probably will just paint it not spray paint it but actually take some actual paint to it so it kind of has like that distressed look maybe a little you know like a soft warm white little white with a little yellow in it or something like that i think this will be really really cute it's very very heavy i would not necessarily put this like on a glass um bookcase or shelf or anything like that but if you have like a good solid wood bookcase or something like that this will be really 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 nice and the last one I found, it just reminds me of so, um, 
Um, I don't know what it reminds me of. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and it's this one here. I love the shape of this. It sits at an angle like this. And I just think that in another color, this would be really, really pretty. You can also put some little foliage if you wanted to come out of there. And I think this was just a really unique um, shape. I love the detail on the handle. And I love, I just love this. This is just so pretty. So I don't really know exactly how I'm going to DIY this, but I would definitely take you with me when I do it. So I have a few other pieces. They're actually kind of heavy. So I'm just going to insert some photos of them. One of them, I, yeah, one of them are, is going to be used in the office and the other two, I really don't have a place for them, but I just love them and I will try my best to find somewhere to put them, but they're very, very beautiful. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I am going to be doing a weekly thrift haul, both for home decor and fashion, so stay tuned for that. And also, I am going to do a office tour and show you how I styled all these pieces that you saw here today. Well, not all of them, but most of them, I'll show you how I uh, styled them in the office. So please, again, like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification button so that you don't miss an episode. I would love for you to join me and enjoy all my thrifted finds and hope that you get some inspiration and just a love for all things beautiful. Bye, guys.